Hey guys, welcome to Draw My Story. And today, we're drawing the life of Short Horse. And yes, it's related to the Long Horse. Basically, Short Horse looks similar to the Long Horse. It's a horse-like creature. Its face looks like a horse, and its neck is infinite. The end of the neck can't be seen, so we don't know how its body looks. Like the long horse, the face of short horse is skeleton-like. However, the face and body are not completely made of bones. There is a thin layer of flesh and skin going through its body. This makes the face and neck look reddish in color. It has round, bulged-out eyes fixed in the eyeballs. For long horse, all these structures were vague and very bone-like. However, short horse is more like a live horse, unlike long horse, who's skeletal and bony. We can also see that short horse has two pairs of sharp teeth inside its mouth, and it has small blade-like projections on its neck. This continues along the length of the neck. It also has joints in the neck, like the long horse. So, from its appearance, we can see that the short horse is more like a monster than the long horse. While long horse looks calm and visibly non-harming, short horse is very much out there for an attack, and that explains its origin. It was developed as a monster, we all know that the long horse is an angel-like creature who stayed with humans through many generations in the history. It came from the heavens to help human beings. In fact, it was considered as a protector of humans. If anyone sees long horse or hears the cracking sound of its neck, that means danger is coming and they should be alert. Well, short horse is created by human beings. Yes, looking at the long horse, some humans wanted to have their own little horse to help them fight others. So a group of scientists who knew about the long horse decided to make a mini long horse for themselves. They did a lot of research on how to do this. After a lot of discussions about many different methods, they found one method to be practically possible that is to recreate another long horse from its bone. So first they had to find a bone of the long horse. They had to be really welcoming for the long horse to come into their minds and from their minds to a reality. For days they tried and tried and finally got the long horse on earth. Whenever long horse moves around, it crackles its bones and some parts may fall off. They have to be at the right place at the right time. And they waited for that and finally caught hold of one bone. This bone was taken to the lab and put on a specially made fire with chemicals. This procedure is used in ancient myths to replicate monsters. This was a really interesting process and they were sure that this will work. And soon there would be one more long horse of their own. They were very excited and were eagerly waiting for the process to be over. But as they fired the bone, a new long horse started emerging out. Somewhat red in color and having a thin layer of skin. Slowly the horse came out of the fire. As it became longer and longer and its face became clearer, the scientist realized that it's not exactly the same as Long Horse. There were differences in the shape as well as the behavior. The horse coming out was wild and aggressive, unlike Long Horse, who's very calm and supportive in nature. Once the procedure was over, the scientist realized that they'd made a mistake and the horse they created is a different one from the long horse. 
that came as a shock for them. This is not a helping angel. It's a monster. There is this evilness that they could see clearly from its eyes. It was scary. They named it Short Horse. The horse which didn't live up to the expectations of the long horse. Short Horse is basically an evil version of Long Horse. It was created on a trial to make a replica of the Long Horse. But there occurred some mistake. Now, we don't know what went wrong. We only know that it's not good for humans. The scientists could not keep them. The Short Horse escaped from them and is out in the woods, dangerously open to attack anyone. Does it attack humans? Yes, Short Horse preys on humans. Short Horse has immense physical strength. It can disappear on the spot and appear anywhere it wants. It can spit fire. Short Horse can attack anyone using the fire coming out of its mouth. It will also use the blades on its neck to kill people. It usually attacks at night. Those who are stranded at night are more likely to face an attack from him. Short horse can shrink and expand its neck like long horse. That's the only power that it actually inherited from the long horse. Short horse is an intelligent creature. It knows its own origin. It knows that it's supposed to be good like its ancestor long horse who loves affection from humans. Long horse is not necessarily a friendly pet creature but definitely not harmful, and it won't attack humans. It just comes in dreams to warn them about any disaster. But Short Horse is not anywhere near to Long Horse. Short Horse has deep mental issues because it's not like Long Horse in skills and powers. Short Horse does not have the high intuitional capabilities like Long Horse. It's jealous of the intuitive powers of Long Horse. It's frustrated that it's been created as a substandard creature to Long Horse. This anger is also taken out on the humans. So it usually attacks humans, not only for its meal, but to take revenge for creating it. Short Horse hates itself, and that's why it takes it out on humans. I think its whole existence itself is just an accidental process which makes it angrier. And I think that makes it one of the dangerous monsters of our time. And that was today's story, guys, about Short Horse. Comment and let me know how'd you like it. And please subscribe to my channel, guys, if you want to see more Draw My Story horror videos like this one. Till then, bye.